right now, this guy is eating approximately two cups of food in the morning. No, how much is he eating? Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and I've got Clay. We are ready for his very first training session. Now, to set him up for success, I've already done a couple things. One of which is I have the things ready for my training session, which today is going to be his morning dog food meal and our clicker. The next is I took him out for a potty break first. He was crated for a little nap, then he went out. I saw him potty, brought him in, and now he's ready for this training session. There's a couple of things I want you to keep in mind. When you have a brand new puppy, most of the time, um, you bringing them home, this is gonna be the first time that they're getting the opportunity to eat by themselves. That's an adjustment. Your house is an adjustment. The travel was stress and again, another adjustment. So we need to be ready to help them as well as be understanding for, you know, maybe if they're not rip roaring ready to go the very first training session you try. But the sooner you start with your puppy, the better off you're going to be. Dogs, puppies, thrive off of structure. It's important that um, we kind of build a mindset from day one that meals are important and we have to work for the things that we're getting, okay? There are no free meals um, and that includes water. Any form of resource that we have, a toy, um, chew bones, food, water, those are all resources to a dog and therefore important. We need to show them that they have to work for it. Now, all of that being said, the work can be fairly minor or it can be more extensive. Um, something as simple as saying, sit, good dog, then you get your bowl of water. That's a simple thing, but in their mind connects the dots of I just worked for that and it came directly from my pack leaders. Now, once you get started with this, if you have a family, it's important to incorporate everybody that can into the training sessions. Though um, the puppy is going to listen to everybody that is working with them on a regular basis. So do your best as a family to train as a family. Let's get started. This is called charging the clicker. It's a very simple process. And what we are doing is building a positive association with this noise. And we're doing that via food. This behavior right here is naughty. We're going to kind of ignore that and show him more what we're looking for. He's excited for his food. We're just going to click and give him a crunchy. And take him a second to eat that. It's not that big a deal. Uh, when he's jumping up at me, moving toward him, helping him move away is a better way than backing up. You're essentially giving in to the behavior. This, we're moving him away, which is ultimately forcing him to kind of step back. That's another subtle thing um, that's really going to help. We want this charging the clicker to move relatively quickly. But in this process, you're going to start to see some of the individual personality um, quirks and understanding better how your dog works and overall what their demeanor is going to be. He is pretty gentle. Um, he's taking these treats gently. He's also borderline savoring them. Crunch, crunch, taste, taste, swallow, swallow. Some of your puppies may be crazy. Some of your puppies may not be interested at all in eating. Now, that is going to be the important one, okay? If your puppy is not interested in eating at all, what we're gonna actually end up doing is ending the training session and ending the meal. We're not going out of our way to withhold dog food or food from our puppies. But if he's making that decision himself, you know, for example, if Clay was not here eating and he was wandering around or playing or sniffing and was said, nah, turned up his nose after one or two kibble, that's when we need to say, okay, you're obviously not interested, therefore this is not important, and we need to help you to understand that it is important. One, um, just like I mentioned before, structure in their brains and understanding that I need to work for things is an important part of um, a puppy that is mentally prepared for life. It's going to be important down the road from training, it's going to be important for traveling, 
all of which is going to be part of the average family companion, hunting companion, adventure dog companion. If you plan on going anywhere, these are gonna be important things for your dog to learn. Good. So in the, the case that your dog is not interested in eating and training, you would skip that meal. It was going to disappear. That food is gone forever. This is, um, then you're gonna have the opportunity in the evening to repeat. I know that it may seem a little mean or tough love or whatever you are thinking right now, but um, it's kind of part of life and development. Um, our little puppies need to understand that there are things in life that they can do and there are consequences for other things. And the better your puppy has the understanding of I need to work for things, the better off they're going to be. You can see the pace here. We're moving pretty quick. He's starting to figure it out. He's also more interested in this cup a little bit, but I keep trying to pull his focus over here. Two things I'm doing, he's nibbling, biting a little bit. I am slowing that down. Don't nibble my hands. Once you kind of start licking, I feed another one in. This is a development that's happened. At the beginning, he was super, super gentle. Now he's getting this figured out. He's getting more and more pumped about getting the food. And I am, I've got a handful of kibble. I'm kind of pushing it towards his face. This is very, very simple to begin with. Let's turn this way so everybody can see. Um, but when he's chewing, he's not getting it. When he licks, I push another one in. This is gonna help better understand how to properly use his mouth in communication. Puppies bite, folks. That's the only thing that they have to do to explore their world. They don't have hands, they put everything in their mouth. Well, it just so happens that their little teeth are like needles. It's not comfortable, okay? This is a very simple and subtle way to help him to understand. It's right here, I picked it up. What is an appropriate way to use his mouth? We don't need you to be a little velociraptor biting my hands like a crazy fiend, and now he's already getting really good at it. Lots more licking, he's not biting my fingers anymore, he's just going for the treat. My click was a little delayed there. Now, let's talk about this clicker for a second. Timing is everything in dog training. The next thing is going to be consistency. And why we put timing on top of consistency is because if you are, your timing is off and you're consistently having timing that is off, you're not gonna be moving in the direction that you're looking for. If your timing is on, but you're a little bit not maybe as consistent as you should be, you're still gonna be moving in the right direction. Um, so timing, most important part of dog training. The clicker allows you to mark behaviors. Look for that one. It allows you to mark behaviors and essentially take a snapshot saying this right there, that moment, that second was perfect. It allows the treat then to come shortly after. You've already told him he did it right. He knows he did it right. And that gives you a second to buy some time to get the treats out. As you develop your puppy through this treat training process, you're going to start to see some things happen, especially if you aren't doing things right. Now, you may be thinking, what are these treats? I mentioned it in the beginning. These are not treats. This is in fact his morning meal. We feed Yukonuba large breed puppy food, and that is what he's eating right here. Large breed puppy food is going to be a mild calorie deprivation. So it's not super, super pumped up food to help him not grow too fast. So if you have a bigger dog, whether that's a short hair or a lab or something bigger, um, it's gonna be important to get on a large breed style puppy food. This is going to help prevent your puppies from growing too fast. When they grow too fast, sometimes those bones can outgrow tendons and muscles, and then you end up with deformities and discomfort. So we need our puppies to stay lean and to not grow too fast. Good. Now, as we develop through this here, we've got um, to do one or two sessions like this where we are charging the clicker. And we may be getting close already, okay? 
you're going to notice your puppy starting to build a positive association with the click noise. You may have heard say um, somebody else say, I just use yes or say good boy or good dog. The reason that we don't do that is because every time you use that verbal marker, it can be slightly different or can carry baggage. Um, you're having a rough day or you're tired or whatever. Um, you've got a headache. All of those things can play into yes, yes, yes. It's all different. It all sounds different. It's just a little bit different. And we can be drastically more consistent with a clicker as well as transfer between every member of the family. So when everybody is saying, good dog, you did it right, it sounds exactly the same. These are a few of the reasons that help. Good, he's doing fantastic with this. Right now, this guy is eating approximately two cups of food in the morning. No, how much is he eating? Two cups of food total in a day. So he gets one cup of food in the morning, one cup of food in the evening. We will progress through his development. By the time he's probably about six months old, he'll be up to that two cups of food in the morning, two cups of food in the evening. And we're just about done here. Good. And this is his first session. Like I said, I'll do probably one more, maybe this evening's meal. Um, this is an easy way to incorporate training into everyday routines. The puppy needs to eat. You know that. You've already set aside time to make sure that he gets fed. So incorporate a short training session at that time. It's really easy to get it all done that way. We've got our last handful here. And we've, we've progressed really, really well. Um, and he's changed through the session. He was really gentle and sweet to begin with, almost savoring each treat or dog food kibble piece. And then he kind of got a little excited about the process, um, over aroused, if you will, was biting my fingers a little bit. Then I started making him work a little bit more, not giving them to him until he licked gently. And now I've got a little puppy that's just licking my fingers, looking for the next. So in that one session, using proper timing, we were able to um, kind of eliminate that chewing. This is gonna be able to continue to progress and have a dog that doesn't take things from you like a shark or a velociraptor. Guys, this is step number one here. Um, this is our very first session with Clay. We're gonna keep you posted. If you have questions along the way, the best thing for you to do is reach out to us at patreon.com slash standingstonekennels. That is where we can um, help you with your puppy when it doesn't follow exactly like he does in the videos. It changes just a little bit. We're there to answer questions on the daily for you. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Clay. We're excited to see you in his next video.